good afternoon. We are so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. I am just getting some dinner started. It's actually two o'clock, um, but I'm gonna make the mushroom asada tacos again, and I want the mushrooms to marinate for a little bit. So that is what we're starting with today. So I've actually shown these mushroom tacos before. However, I realized that I enjoyed the version that I made before, like the first time, with the modifications and not what the recipe actually said, which I think is what I've shown. Um, so today I'm gonna show you my version. So this is just a full package of white mushrooms. Honestly, I do wanna try other mushrooms because these aren't like high quality mushrooms. These are just like standard mushrooms. Um, but they do the job, but a whole, a whole container. A quarter cup of olive oil, a third of a cup of lemon juice. Typical Asada does have orange juice, but this is what I used that first time and I really liked it. And I don't have orange juice this time either. Um, but I have found that lemon juice works great too. I gotta add some more. Four cloves of garlic. So I just kind of eyeball it with a spoon with minced garlic if I don't have fresh. Three sliced jalapenos. Two tablespoons of chili powder. A teaspoon of paprika, which I'm just kind of eyeballing. And then two limes worth of juice. So this is how it looks. The first time around I used probably half the amount of mushroom with the same amount of marinade. So it makes sense it's not as liquidy. Um, but honestly, there's plenty of flavor and I'm gonna throw the plastic wrap from the mushrooms back on top of it and let it sit in the um, fridge for the next three hours. I did use cilantro last time. That was the one thing I don't have this time around. Um, so if you're a cilantro person, Add that on in too. Dance, 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 dance it out. Dance it out, dance it out, dance it out, dance it out. Hi, my name is Peter. I like to watch YouTube, so I'm gonna make a YouTube video. I'm sorry I'm not sorry. This right here, behind me. Arsenic and Old Lace. Classic Halloween movie. Peter, why are you watching Halloween? Because I'm excited because Halloween time means James time, we think, we think. Plus, I feel like before we know it, it's going to be boom, it's going to be Halloween time, especially down here in the way Orlando works. It's going to be like 4th of July happens and then after 4th of July, it's basically Halloween time, right? Yeah. I'm not missing anything. July 4th to, yep, October 1. That's how that works. Alrighty, we got the side dishes. Well, it's really just one dish. This is rice being cooked in diced tomatoes. And this is onions and black beans. I'm gonna mix them together once they're both done. Heat up the mushroom tacos and be ready. Oh, look at that steamy deliciousness. We did two different mixes. We did one with the mushroom stuff and the pickled vegetables from the other week. And then on this one, it's just like a sweet chili or sweet um, salsa. Raspberry salsa on the mushrooms. So time to devour. She's also very much wants all of it. That paw. All right, now that dinner's over, we don't, we haven't, we talked about going on a walk later. Maybe we'll go soon, mm -hmm. but it's supposed to be super hot up. But now that I, Sarah and I finished season one of Stranger Things, I want her to see the Halloween Horror Nights house because, you know, someone's not the biggest fan of Halloween Horror Nights, but she's a fan of a good theme. Yeah, and I like to, know about stuff. Yeah. I really hope it didn't happen this year. So we just revealed on our Facebook group page um, our newest t-shirt design. There is an asterisk next to that though because it's not live on the website. We have to do a little bit of work to make it happen. Um, but we're ready to show you guys too. Okay, so here it is. It is Crescent Lake Running Club, which is so fitting after our little stay at the boardwalk. We have on this side 
the boardwalk itself um, and some of the water and then over here is the yacht club lighthouse and a friendship boat um, so yeah there is the design we're so excited about it you guys know how much Peter loves running at the boardwalk but also just how like every single run Disney event that he runs that way like it is always like his home turf and he always gets like that last little bit of um I don't know the last little push to to make him get through so we hope you guys like it and we hope that you'll let us know what you think and so the reason it's not just already on our website is because our t-shirt supplier is not accepting new designs right now or designs on athletic wear. They're kind of simplifying things as they navigate COVID and just the crisis that's going on with this virus. Um, and so what we would have to do is we would order, we would do a pre-order for anybody who's interested and then we'd order that amount and then ship them out ourselves because right now our t-shirt supplier manages the website, manages all the shipping, and does everything themselves. So what we're asking you guys in the comments today is if you would be interested in purchasing a t-shirt, it'd probably be between like a 20 and $30 shirt range, or price range rather. Um, and if you would like an athletic wear shirt, versus a normal t-shirt. I think we'd go athletic wear at least for this first round. Um, and then any color preference, we'll probably have to keep it simple. Again, this is like a different situation than we're used to. Um, but we've been talking about this design forever when we finally just wanted to show you guys. So yeah, that hopefully was somebody commenting on the post. If you're not a part of our Facebook group already, it's always linked in the description. It's just a place where we do a lot of chit chatting. When we are out and about, we always check in where we are. Um, just in case you're here too, you can see where we are and maybe say hi to us. Um, but that is linked below. So please, again, I'll show you the design one more time. Um, we're really excited about it, really proud of it. So let us know if you'd be interested in purchasing one for yourself. There's also been some talk in the comments about potential stickers or other types of merchandise. We're thinking maybe tank tops or, um, I don't know, there's so many different options. We'll probably have to stick to being pretty simple at first, but just let us know your thoughts below, please. A little funny thing just happened. Sarah wanted to go on a walk because she's been wanting to get on these evening walks. And so Sarah came up with the idea to go to Park Avenue and bring Eve. Hi. So we get in the car, drive over to Park Avenue, and both of us, we didn't bring the camera because the batteries haven't been charging, and then we both forgot our phones so we couldn't even vlog it. Check it, check it, check it out. I beat Super Mario Brothers for Super Nintendo on my Switch. We're gonna watch this show, Trying. We're gonna try to try. We're gonna, We're gonna try, try to watch it. Trying. It um, is about a couple who is trying to have a baby. And it's so, a adoption, but we don't know for sure. yeah. Yeah, I'm just looking at these little descriptions. Yeah, potential adopters, another round of IVF. So this should be a good watch. So I have been, Eva's gonna bark because she hasn't had my attention for over two hours. She finally, computer swiped her away. Um, for the past two hours, I've been FaceTiming with Angela, our nephew's mom, and it was just a really good catch up and time always flies by when we talk and she's just one of those people where like you don't talk to like super super regularly because your your lives are both very busy but then when you do talk it's just like the best and just so fills your heart and you're like so on the same page that I don't know you just get it so it was a good conversation um but now it's 11 we're gonna watch maybe an episode they're not too long um and then probably go to bed i'm not tired at all peter's not tired at all what did you just say i'm gonna watch trolls after this christina and grant brought bought it was not trolls. christina it was grant 
but Trolls One movie. and Two. We just got two movies. I was like, ooh, which one? Is it? Trolls One. Well, it, Trolls and Trolls World Tour. And I want to see Trolls World Tour more, but you can't watch Trolls World Tour if you've never seen Trolls. Right. So it's on our Apple TV. And this doggy. <laughs> She just loves us so much. She wants all of our attention. But first. So usually I would feel bad about taking all of the dispensable things from our DVC, but I would take like a lot of them. Mm -hmm. But now with like how Disney's doing all that, they're not reusing, they're not like allowing. They're these, gonna get thrown away anyway. Yeah, they're, they're not allowing these to go from one, one, one visitor to the next, so took them. We haven't even talked about our our Disney reservation experience. It was great. No, our Disney annual pass reservation experience. Oh, we're entitled, frustrated locals. Yeah. And but we're we, upset about it. Yeah, we're, yeah, we'll talk about it more. I just, I never even like said like, what we got, what we didn't get, how we went through, who you I guys, called, right, and how much time I've spent on hold. We're understanding. Yeah. But from a, a, a more IT analytical, a data driven person, I don't understand why they chose to set up the system the way they did. I don't think they did make some decisions right. That and I we're think usually are, uh, are agreeing that I think that would make the experience better mm -hmm. and more valuable. I don't know if they're going to change it later. They just want to rush and get this, 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 it out. Mm -hmm. But there's some limitations to it that does, just doesn't make sense to me. And it's, yeah. I'm not happy about it. And to really quick just give a brief description, very brief, of why of of our situation and why we're not happy is because right now if you're an annual pass holder, you can either have three park passes reserved or passes reserved for a stay. So it works if you're a local down here and you can pick three, pick a new, th like as you use them, you can pick new ones. Or if you're planning a vacation and you just have it set for your vacation. But it doesn't work when you live down here and you have stays planned. So like us, we have a stay planned in July. So we weren't able to get any passes before that because we just have to, we just have our stay passes. I was able to get one we had a separate glitch with our um, our My Disney experience, but I have heard that that reservation that I got might just drop off. Um, but just think, like, if you had a reservation in November, you wouldn't be able to use your annual pass at all until November because you have to use your stay or your other passes. So we just feel like we... We aren't like the main, like the majority that they're they're trying to to work with, um, but it just stinks when you have an annual pass. You want to be able to use it, so that yeah, is that well. on that. But we did get um, a annual pass holder preview slot today, so give and take. But we've also said like this is very new. They're trying change. to figure things out. It could change in a week. It could change, so we're not gonna get too worked up about it. You guys know we're easy to please. Oh, Eve just tried to, to drink Peter's oat milk. Um, but yeah, we're also logical people, so we're hoping for the best, but preparing for things to stay the same. Look at my plants, look at my plants, look at my plants. Let's see, today is June 29th. We are almost halfway through the year. Today's quote is by Ovid. Fortune and love favor the brave. Ain't that the truth? I think that saying is very fitting, especially after watching the first two episodes of Trying. Do you guys ever, did you get into Post Secret when you were young? That was just you. You were the only person. I would like bring my books to people's houses. But anyways, I followed Post Secret on Twitter and it is reigniting my love for it. Oh gosh. Yeah. I love Post Secret. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, did you like this show so far? Yeah, it's like really entertaining and really spot on. Spot on in the best and worst ways about like battling infertility, but it's like important cuz I like my like I told Sarah after the first episode, I worry that people who haven't gone through infertility won't pick up on everything. But there's enough of like obvious jokey things and obviously sad things 
that will make it entertaining and people be like, oh, I never thought about that. But there's like literally little nuances that are so true about yeah. people who are going through that journey mm -hmm. um, that I hope people pick up on. But so far it's really good. I don't want to go to bed. I just want to keep watching it. <laughs> when they're talking to the fertility specialist, I want to be like, ask this question, ask this question. <laughs> like there's, there's so much. Um, that's, that's heavy. Well, maybe we'll watch more tomorrow. Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>